few guys helping me we're gonna pull this potting her in in a minute and um, we're working on doing some washing and stuff here Kerr's working on washing the uh, diller tank off on 14 and I'm working on getting these uh, bearing assemblies together for this potting her. I've got two done and I've got two uh, left to do here so I'll show you how this gets done. Somebody asked me the other day if I could show how these bearings go together in these hubs here. So we got a whole pile of parts. And we're gonna go ahead and get working on that. Uh, and, uh, Andrews are here kind of working along with uh, the boys. Jared's getting his water pump on to 4250 here. Uh, what did you say about this water pump? What? Oh, it actually came with like all the gaskets and fittings and everything. Oh, okay. I'm kind of surprised it did. Yeah. Which we, I ordered. Yeah. You know, so they, those can go back. So all he's waiting for is the head for this, and maybe sometime next week we'll get that. But he's got the brand new uh, water pump all in place there. All right, so I've got a spot on the bench here set up so that I can pound these old shafts out. And we, of course, had to cut them off because we could not get the nut off in there. So we're going to replace the bearings, the seals, and we're going to put a new uh, shaft in here. So there's a dust shaft on this back side here. We're just going to peel that out. removed. Now we're just going to turn this over and we're going to pound this shaft and arbor assembly out. this up and what we had is um, 
Well, the other reason why we had to replace these arbors and bolts and nuts and whatever um, is because the arbor itself, the, sh the shaft, if you will, was spinning inside of these arms here. And we've got this one that we're cleaning up because I gouged it with the torch. It's supposed to have this flat spot in here. This one here and the fourth one over was rounded and then the um, arbor itself wouldn't tighten up. So all I did was put a little bead of weld in there. Just a little tiny bead on this one and that one and these ones tightened right up. So that's all we had to do with that. It was going to be 600 bucks to replace this part which is two of them. So we dodged a bullet on that couple of you said we could get a machine shop to do it but we can just gouge it up with weld move it back in there and uh, just get something so it'll stay tight against this arm here and it'll be fine so he's just going to clean this up here and I'll have to coat that out with a torch and uh, put that um, new one back on there once I get done rebuilding them other ones but we're going to get discs on these six here and he's going to finish these two all right we've got the um hub all cleaned out we've got the bearing out of it and uh yeah, to get this out just weld a rod to it just to pound everything out through so we've got the hub all ready to slam a new bearing into we're going to put our bearing in first <clears throat> So we got the bearing all into place, now we're just going to put the snap ring uh, back in it. We got the snap ring in, now we can flip it over. Now we're gonna put the seal in. Got the seal. I'm just gonna slam that guy down in there. And 
actually I put the seal in, is it puts a dust cap over the top of it. Use the dust cap to pound the seal down in. in there and the seal. We're going to grab ourselves a new arbor. So here's the arbor here and on this arbor here's the flat part that sits against the arm itself. We're going to just clean it up with a little scotch bright here. Got our snap ring in. Got the arbor in there. Now we can just pound this into place here. here and that actually rides in the center of the uh, bushing or the center of the seal bushing in there and then what we're going to do is put the dust cap in the back side. So we'll clam our nut on here just in case this falls on the floor. I don't want to screw up our threads. And then we'll just put our dust cap on. one's all ready to go. So we've got, what we've got is this uh, pushing that's on the inside. That rides in on the seal. That'll end up pushing itself in there once this is tight. So we'll get this set up on the, um, on the uh, potting or disc here. All right, we 
we've got this potting are done for the most part. We just lack a few bolts for uh, these discs. I gotta get some um, metric bolts for them, but we ended up getting um, the hubs all on there, plus the new discs, and we were able to sacrifice these arms here without having to replace them. So, they're gonna take this up and unhook it, and then we are going to be able to put the duels on this tractor here tomorrow. It is the end of the day here tonight, and I thought I was going to be able to get these duels on here now, but today, but I was not able to do that. We changed oil on army truck. Um, Kerr ended up washing the uh, truck 14 and changing the oil on it. We had just one wing on this Oh, it's like two discs there. We had to put some new bolts in that. But this is going to really dig now, so with the new discs on there. Got all new scrapers, greased, ready to go. This is a 20 foot um, implement. So that is going to do it for this video. Uh, we just got this tractor in the shop here tonight. This is the tractor we replaced the 8320 with. Um, there probably won't be a video out for a couple days here. We've got to get this set up and then on the next video you guys should see. Uh, there might be one in between this one and when this one comes out, this video here. But um, I've got the left wheel moved out already. The right wheel, I gotta move that one out and then I gotta bolt the duels on. So I've got one duel over there and I've got one sitting outside yet. So uh, we've got that Terra disc done. Um, Jared, he ended up getting the water pump on this 4250. He's just waiting for some more parts to come for that. We got the oil changed on the service truck today and, and uh, one truck, uh, one manure truck, truck 14. And we've just been trying to get all these things cleaned up here and um, I've had so many interruptions here this week that I thought I was going to have that tractor done by now and this weekend was going to be the weekend that um, I was going to show everybody what we had got to replace that 8320. So with that being said folks I want to thank you for watching and we will catch you in the next video. Remember leave me a thumbs up drop me a comment down below and we will catch you at the next one. Thanks again for watching.